Terran. Pretty in pink, and he's got a nice Sarah Kerrigan avatar there as well. Again, MLG test bug, there's three starting positions, and we will have Vile Illusion uh, in the southern position here as that pink Terran. And VVV Titan, so far uh, just one game short of an all kill as the red Zerg in the northwest position in this jungle area. Uh, or Illusion down in sort of this, uh, I guess, high tech. Uh, machine type area in the south part of the base and then we'll have the desert area up in the northeast which will sort of remain a desert with nothing in it all right so we'll figure out what's going to be happening what test bug does have a lot of open areas it does a lot of zerg players do like it because of the amount of open areas and also the number of expansions there's a very easy to take natural expansion like it is on every map but there's also this these high ground expansions as well that are also very easy to take if a terran if a terran player tries to expand too quickly the zerg player can set up an eight um, an eight hatchery or a third base at one of those locations as well there are also these gold mineral expansions that you want to keep track of and um, they are very forward and are just very much in the middle of the map it's almost like you're fighting in the middle of a war field so um, very rarely do we ever see any of these gold minerals taking place as we now see the supply depot and the barracks being completed by illusion yeah, you talk about the map, and the more I watch games on this map, especially high-level players like this, uh, the more I fall in love with it. I mean, you mentioned those gold minerals at the center of the map. Uh, if you've got map control, and if you're able to take down those destructible rocks, uh, you can definitely take those. We've got the destructible rocks around the Zanago Towers as well, so a lot of uh, areas where you can kind of exploit, depending on how the game is going, getting good map control and vision, and eventually taking one of those uh, those gold bases if you feel like you're in the lead you can get further ahead or if you're not uh, you know feeling so good about your position you can take one of those more passive bases away from your opponent up in the corners they're a little bit more difficult to defend for Zerg just because uh, creep very difficult to spread to a third quickly uh, but like most maps that's the case and we do see illusion opening relatively standard here with that racks and that gas so no two racks coming here for titan as titan just opening with that 14 14 tried and true now titan or sorry illusion now going for that tech lab so we may see a reaper expansion here and um, coming in from titan also we have that queen now being trained metabolic boost being started metabolic boost very important on a large map like this where where movement and speed is everything also the reaper will not be able to outrun those zerglings as i did guess correctly it is going to be a reaper first in order to try to wrestle away some map control but with the speed boost about what 80 seconds away that reaper is not going to have that much time in order to pick off any of those zerglings yeah we'll see how many reapers illusion actually goes for here you know sometimes just the one scouting reaper that a player like uh murder and angry tend to favor in their uh many of their matchups or whether he uh you know he reinforces this reaper and starts to do some damage with it he is going for that fast uh command center so we'll be on two bases shortly here if he's able to land uh, but, oh, wow, so Titan actually going to see that Reaper, or at least hear the shots, poking in there with that Zergling. So he's going to know he needs, you know, four to six Zerglings here, as speed just now finishing to take on the uh, the Reaper as it makes its way into the base. Yeah, that, that Zergling with natural regeneration, able to survive two shots from that Reaper. It had one hit point, and the Zergling going to be like, yeah, I, I'm so glad I, I can heal myself even rather slowly able to come back home and perhaps deal a little bit more damage a little bit later on you can see titan now training up a second queen already and now getting a whole sea of zerglings so the zerglings are going to be there and i think that's exactly what illusion wanted he wanted to see his opponent or perhaps cause his opponent to over zergling a little much they're not going to be able to get through this front door there's no banelings nest and with enough marines and reapers on the high ground and not much that these zerglings can really do yeah, 13 uh, Zerglings, so again, that could have been, you know, an extra six drones or so. Titan could have been in the lead, Harvester-wise. He is at 23 or 22, just having a bunch pop, and now will be droning, but he's got these lings. He needs to be taking down some rocks. He needs to be poking at that front door. He needs to put these lings to work. Uh, right now, they're just getting basically paid to do nothing, sitting outside the base of uh, the Terran player. He does spot that there's still that one Reaper and it's in the base of the Terran player. So he's at least gonna feel comfortable that a, uh, a Reaper is not right outside of his mineral line. So I guess he, he does have that going for him, but he needs to drone up and put these Zerglings to work somehow. 
Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious as what um, a Vile or Illusion is going to be doing. He is getting a lot of supply depots, um, building a, more supply depots than he really needs right now. And he really needs to just really crank up his production. He's sitting at 43 over 54, getting up another depot. So he will be at, at 45 over 62. Plenty of room to work with. Meanwhile, the Zergling still sitting outside next to those rocks, contemplating life, as you mentioned. What is that Zergling going to do? And now finally, Illusion establishing his natural expansion, but the Zergling may be able to get underneath there and prevent this, as we finally have an SCV setting up a bunker as well. Is the, is it going to be enough? No, the Zergling being forced to back off, and now it is going to be two base play versus two base play. And it's going to be two base aggressive play versus two base passive play as we have got a lot of links and the banding nest just now finishing for titan this is a play we see from him so often after you see him work on that macro style play those late games you don't often expect this aggression but we will have hellions coming out and if they are able to see these banelings might see a few more bunkers going up as the banelings just now coming in uh the zerglings just baiting those uh those hellions and another two bunkers coming the banelings making their way in here though are they able to take on those bunkers before even any marines get in and now these banelings and zerglings are going to do huge damage yeah the, the zerg is now trying to fight against those hellions but the hellions have really strong positioning the baneling may be able to sacrifice itself is it going to be enough and um, know that damage wasn't enough as a drop now happening over here at the natural expansion drones now coming in queens now trying to get in some slashing as well the spine crawler about to be completed are the marines going to be able to jump inside the meta back that is the key question there a stim timing push once again, dropping onto the low ground, it looks like that medevac is going to get destroyed, but not after a lot of workers have been killed on both sides. So I guess huge damage might have been a little bit of an exaggeration there. I thought some huge damage was going to be done, but Titan actually losing that encounter and then losing a number of drones in that drop. So far, it's five workers killed for the Terran players. We see some midfield skirmishing happening between these Zerglings. But the Hellion is going to be a lot of firepower to take on the tier one of Titan. And now Titan having to respond with spine crawlers here, not feeling very safe at all. He's going to have to come out with a lot of links as well. He lost map control. Illusion's on two bases. Uh, Titan's in a little bit of a, uh, a pickle here. He's not really far behind but i think illusions got out well ahead of him at this point yeah illusion sitting at 64 over 70 compared to 58 over 58 over 68 so the the food count definitely favors um, illusion at this point but he is going to be supply blocked unless he gets two additional depots and it looks like he will be able to finish those in just a moment it looks like he's going to continue with this mass marine play with an engineering bay as well so that engineering bay level one weapons upgrade um, most likely on weapons as the zerglings are now going to try to take down these destructible rocks and um, as we mentioned, not all rocks are created equally. These rocks have three armor, but only 1,500 hit points and will get cleared out in just a moment. Yeah, so that's a nice uh, job by Titan as he's going to be able to see with this Zelnaga Tower the push as it comes. He doesn't have creep spread out too far quite yet, so uh, any extra warning you can get having that middle tower and having that close tower uh, for when you have to start making some units is going to be very good. And now we see Illusion... Uh, you know, doing his best to get up his tech. He's got siege tanks out and also getting up another command center. So perhaps going to be going for some sort of three base max push with tanks and Marines. Uh, he is now getting out medevacs as well. We saw this come into play a little bit earlier with that drop. So we'll see whether he continues to stay aggressive with drops. When Titan actually chooses to take a third, it looks like he's responding with roaches and might be uh, maybe going a little bit overboard with the roaches as we see Illusion being quite passive with these Hellions still. Yeah, so the Hellions are now once again trying to make a move out. They do not have the blue flame tech, so they're they're gonna have to three shot Zerglings in order to deal any serious damage at all. As the as Zerglings are able to just run straight into that fire there, and now it looks like Illusion now controlling the center portion. A third base has been established by Titan at the uh, the twelve o'clock location, so that will definitely help. But whether or not any units can be transferred over there is going to be critical. And also, the gold rocks are being taken down at the 12 o'clock position as well, but it doesn't look like the um, Hellions are able to spot that. And I like this play by Titan, taking those spine crawlers, continuing to uproot them and push them out. He is establishing a far forward position, and once he gets far enough out here, he's going to be able to guard his third and a possible gold as well, as we see Illusion pushing out to the edge of this creep and he's gonna have to siege up since titan's done a nice job spreading this creep and now he's gonna have to take on the spine crawlers as well 
I imagine Titan might uproot those and pull them back while he waits for units. Yeah, Zerglings uh, just dancing back and forth. Another spine crawler getting taken down. The Roach is perhaps going to try to go for a flank, unable to do so. And Illusion absolutely just cleaning up this aggression here, or uh, just all the creep tumors and all of that static defense. Roach is now trying to come back in, perhaps getting us around. The siege tanks were unseaged for just a moment, so that was just the perfect timing as the Roaches are now perhaps going to finish off the rest of these units here. It looks like Roaches versus Marines. The Marines do have medevac support, but Illusion getting cleaned up in this trade. Yes, yeah, speed kicking in for Titan there, and great creep spread. He forced the Terran opponent to siege up off creep, and then he had to unsiege and push on to creep. And he took that opportunity. He knows that timing, very susceptible to uh, you know push out from Zerg. And now we see uh, sort of hot drops coming here from Illusion using the siege tank in that medevac, doing a great job picking it up, finally dropping it. But it was able to get a number of shots off there that he wouldn't have otherwise. And now Titan going to try to put some pressure on here with these roaches but it looks like Illusion does have the answer and more Marines at his base. Yeah, I, I didn't think that that push would actually go down that far. A really, really just top-notch micro coming in from Illusion. If you don't know, Siege Tanks, their attacks are instantaneous as opposed to a missile attack of the Roach. So a Siege Tank can drop fire and then be picked back up into the medevac and as the roach tries to target and tries to attack uh, the, the its acid slime just essentially misses its target but um you can't do it that often you can't rinse and repeat otherwise it will get destroyed as the marines are now once again pushing back against these roaches the roaches do not have creep to really play on and this may be a bit of an issue as a siege tank cleaning up those roaches now yeah, that creep is receding, and you're right. That is a huge issue for Zerg. That means that uh, Illusion's going to be able to get kind of in between the second and third base here. It's going to be very difficult to defend. Sure, Titan has a natural flank sort of built in, being able to attack from both directions, but uh, Illusion can actually push into either the natural or the third. It's going to be quite susceptible, and then always retreat back to this tank. Now it looks like Titan pushing out here. Tank's coming in a little bit late, sieging up a little bit late, and we'll see whether the, uh, the micro of Illusion here able to take down these roaches as more and more roaches come in but the marines always retreating back to the siege tank in a very good position yeah illusion also coming in for a drop over here so it's attacking the third base and the second base at the same time roaches trying to swarm in illusion fighting back it looks like all the roaches at the natural expansion will get destroyed meanwhile illusion also going to shut down the spine crawler here so it looks like a couple roaches now trying to engage and i believe illusion has broken the front line and we may see that third base fall yeah, that drone, or the drop doing a ton of damage, though I think that Titan might be able to clean that up. He's got a few residual roaches here, but his economy is hurting. His uh, supply is hurting, 145 to 87, and Illusion is in firm control. And for kind of a substitute player, maybe a player that doesn't have the recognition or the name value of other Vile Gaming members, Illusion is playing out of his mind great. Yeah, just doing absolutely great. Now the Marines once again going to stim in, just putting multiple pressures, almost like the MMA style with dropships, attacking everywhere that he, everywhere those Marines, such high DPS for how much or how little room they take up on the battlefield. And those Roaches are trying to get within range, but unable to really do anything at all as the Marines are able to outrun while stimmed. But I believe that stim pack will give up in just a moment or yeah, that was the, those are the longest lasting drugs I've seen in quite some time. And check out Illusion's base. We don't often do justice and look at uh, the production structures, but this man has a ton of barracks. I think he's got at least 13 I can count, maybe even more, but he's going to have a ton of units coming out shortly out of all these racks, adding a number of factories as well. His macro is slipping as he does push in here in between the second and the third. Titan once again having to pull off drones to try to defend against this. There's Roaches able to get in on those siege tanks and try to focus them down. And the GG coming from Titan. Illusion's been able to stop the random terror of VVV Titan and force a game six here. Yeah, so a game six will be coming in. We'll see who Illusion will be playing up against. I believe we still have um, Rough and Murder. So two very, very strong players from VV Gaming. And we'll see whether or not Illusion can adapt to the different styles um, that a Murder and Rough bring to the table.